Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for supporting women's basketball here at the 2014-2015 WNBL Grand Final. And please keep your applause going for the Bendigo Spirit and the Townsville Fire, a fantastic contest between two wonderful sides. I'm delighted to introduce our official party for the presentations, the Honourable Anastasia Palaszczuk, MP, Premier of Queensland, Deputy Chair of Basketball Australia, Mr Rob Marcolina, and Sam Schachner, Managing Director of Melora Foods. And would you please welcome to the microphone the Honourable Anastasia Palaszczuk, the Premier of Queensland, to say a few words. Australia and all the people of Townsville for hosting the 2014-15 Wattle Valley WNBL Grand Final. And today on International Women's Day, where people... where people all over the world are celebrating women's achievements we have all witnessed here today a world-class game of basketball. For the third year in a row, the biggest game of the season has featured two regional powerhouses. The JCU Townsville Fire and the Australian Pork Bendigo Spirit. Bendigo had the lead on Townsville, winning the past two national championships. But this season's two apiece win-loss ratio and Townsville's minor premiership pointed towards a changing of the guard. Please all join me in congratulating the winners of the 2014-15 Waddle Valley WML Championship, the Townsville Fire! <laughs> the Fire not only made club history this year by finishing on the top of the ladder after the home and away season, but today, becomes the first Townsville-based professional sporting team, male or female, to win a national championship. <laughs> Menorah Foods, through its power brand, Waddle Valley, 
has been the proud naming rights sponsor of the WNBL for two seasons. It is a privilege and an honour to support women's basketball in Australia, from the grassroots that have been played across schools and stadiums Australia-wide to the elite level of the WNBL that we all witnessed here today. The Wattle Valley WNBL had another standout year, with crowd attendances and broadcast audiences continuing to climb to record levels. And impressively for the fire, they only lost one game at this stadium the entire season. And it's a testament to all of you, the people of Townsville, the fire boasts the highest crowd attendances across the entire league. Please all join me in congratulating the Bendigo Spirit for reaching a third consecutive grand final and for competing so valiantly here today. Also, some special acknowledgements to Bendigo Spirit's legend, Christy Harua, who retired this year after 329 games. To Townsville's buyers, Rachel McCulley. <laughs> On her 324th game and her final game here today, and what a game it was. And to Townsville buyers, Susie Bakovich, who passed the 250 game milestone this season. Thank you again for allowing Menorah Foods and Wattle Valley to share a part in this record-breaking season and historic victory by the Townsville Fire. Sam Shackner, thank you very much indeed. I'd now like to call on the Premier of Queensland to present trophies to the 2014-2015 Wattle Valley WNBL Grand Final Match Referees. Would you please welcome to the stage Jason Kelly, Scott Brown, and Sean Myers. Thank you, gentlemen, and thank you, Premier. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a difficult time to not be on the winning side, but would you please now welcome the captain of the runners-up, Gabe Richards, to the microphone. Hi, everyone. Um, First of all, to Menorah Foods in Wattle Valley, thank you very much um, for supporting women's basketball at the highest level here in this country. And I think today really showcases that it's a really great product and certainly something that everyone should get behind. So thank you very much. Um, obviously, to our naming rights sponsor, Australian Pork, same thing. Thank you very much for allowing us to uh, take the floor each and every uh, week. Um, I'd also like to thank our hardcore spirit fans that made the trek up here. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it was a long way to come and your support. I know there's a lot of people at home as well, a lot of family that couldn't make the trip, but certainly your support um, over the past three years has been absolutely incredible, so thank you very much. Um, to Townsville, obviously you guys have been the benchmark all year and this wins deservingly so. You guys um, absolutely killed it this season and so enjoy. <laughs> to our coaching staff, you guys put in a lot of effort, a lot of long hours and um, a lot of time away from your own family. So thank you very much for the effort that you put into making us one of the top teams in the country. 
And last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank the group of extraordinary women sitting there on that uh, bench. They are an absolute privilege to play with and alongside. And um, whilst we didn't get it done this year, look, two out of three isn't bad, girls, so well done. Thank you very much indeed, Gabriel and the Bendigo Spirit. Well, ladies and gents, it's my delight to call up my ABC colleague, Rachel Spawn, OAM, to present the Rachel Spawn WNBL Grand Final MVP medal, which, ladies and gentlemen, this year goes to Townsville Fire, number 10, Mia Newley. Would you welcome the Aussie Hoops participants who are going to help present the medals to our winning side? Come on, make them welcome the kids. Where are you, kids? They're over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your winning team to the stage as their number and name is called, and they'll be presented with their championship medal. Townsville Fire, number four, Alex Wilson. Number seven, Stephanie Cumming. Number eight, Susie Batkovich. Number ten, Mia Newley. Number eleven, Kate Gaze. Number 12, Jackie Zelenka. Number 22, Kayla Francis. Number 32, Michaela Cox. Number 33, Gillian Harmon. Assistant coach, Claudia Brassard. <laughs> Assistant coach, Mark Robel. <laughs> Team manager, Donna Turner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the captain of the Townsville Fire, number five, Rachel McCulley. of the Townsville Fire, Chris Lucas. Chris, before you run away, how about a quick word? Uh, first of all, um, to Bendigo, to Bernie, uh, your coaching staff and your players. Uh, obviously, it was another Bendigo-Townsville Fire um, fight. And, uh, you know, we know what that feels like on the other side, but uh, congratulations on a wonderful three years. <laughs> to um, the city of Townsville, unreal. Congratulations. <laughs> to, to, our, to my players, uh, we've worked really hard for this all year. It's been our goal. And we've achieved those one at a time. And you know, I'm just so proud of the group. And uh, you know, it was a, not a pretty game, but uh, we grounded out and got that result. So congratulations to everyone involved. <laughs> to, all, to all my support staff, um, and, and there's so many of them. Big John that rocks up here for a five o'clock session. At, 
at uh, three o'clock and the clock's already running, which is quite amusing, but uh, to all of my support staff, Claudio, Mark, uh, been a wonderful support. I think, um, you know, there's, it's been a four year build and I think there was a bit of a vision and, you know, David Kippen, the steering committee four years ago, uh, gave me an opportunity. And, uh, you know, there's uh, three players in our playing group that, uh, you know, decided to come to Townsville in that first year, have been particularly loyal to the club and loyal to me, and then we've built the program from there. That's Rachel Meir and Michaela Cox. So... <laughs> And most, and most importantly, to the young lady standing behind me, Rachel McCulley. Um, I think uh, she's an absolute inspiration to uh, female athletes, you know, young women, and she's built a life up here. And, you know, we joke about it sometimes, but uh, she wanted to go one more year because she had a vision. And, you know, I think that uh, she des deserves every accolade in her retirement that she wants. Lastly, not, but not least, is my family. Uh, really, really tough. Um, sorry. <laughs> really tough, been up here uh, seven months of the year uh, to my wife, Jeanette, and everyone in the family that support me uh, right through my basketball career. It's, uh, it's really, it's, you know, she's not looking forward to me coming home, but that's okay. <laughs> But uh, look, I, I really mean that uh, it does get, uh, coaching can be a lonely world at times and to have the support that I do from the family is, uh, is unreal. And lastly, the board, uh, they've stuck by me and supported me and uh, I think that behind the scenes they've done a wonderful job for this club. much indeed and congratulations to Chris Lucas, coach of the Townsville Fire and now ladies and gents, a young lady who we've enjoyed seeing on the court on so many occasions. Today was to be her last in the WNBL and what a way to go out. Please welcome the captain of the Townsville Fire, Rachel McCulley. Thank you. Um, Finally, I didn't have to do a runners-up speech, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, to Bendigo, um, you guys have been an absolute... Um, you've, you've been amazing all season and in the last couple of years, and hats go off to you guys. You really pushed us today, to Bernie and the crew. Um, thank you so much, and congratulations on a fantastic year, guys. Um, to Menorah Foods, to the sponsors for the WNBL, um, to our sponsor, uh, major sponsors, JCU, uh, BHP, Mike Carney, um, Quest, who else? Um, Queensland Country Health, JBD. Um, you guys help us every week and um, we're, we're so thankful that, that you guys support us and, and what we do week in, week out on the basketball court, so thank you. Um, to the fans, you guys are the reason that we are. We come out week after week. You cheered us on today. You, you got us over the line. And um, for those people who've been members since day one and have followed us up here for, for the last 15 or so years, thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. So you guys, thank you. <laughs> to the coaching staff, uh, Chris, Claudia, Mark, Donna, um, everyone else, Big Johnny, um, you guys, fantastic job. Uh, you, you put in so much work behind the scenes that no one sees. Um, along with that, all the volunteers, all the board, um, Richard and everyone upstairs behind the scenes. You guys, you guys pulled this off. The last couple of games has been an absolute entertainment. So we're so, we're so proud to, to be able to, to have you guys behind the scenes and, and helping us hit the court every week too. Thank you. Finally, to my teammates, you guys make this job so easy and um, it's an absolute pleasure to play with you. Not only that, to everyone who has ever pulled on a Townsville Fire uniform, this is for you guys. We're so proud to, to have you guys behind us. And we're going to paint the town red tonight, so thank you guys. Thank you very much indeed.
indeed, Rachel and Mr. Sam Shackner. I now invite you to present to the Townsville Fire for the first time the trophy to a team in Queensland. Ladies and gentlemen, your champions for 2014 20